Well, I think one of the more interesting conversations concerning where warfare is going in the future, uh, I had with a, an American fighter pilot who uh, served uh, flying probably the best aircraft the Americans have now, it's the F-22. And I asked him, I said, what, what, how do you see fighter aircraft, the sixth generation fighter aircraft, do you think, how, what do you think it'll look like in terms of, it, how will it look, what will it do? And he said, well, he said, it might be manned, it might be unmanned, it might be a set of bots, or it might even be an algorithm, we don't know. And I think that's a, a pretty good summary of where, where air power may, may go. It could go in any one of those directions. One thing we do know is that whatever form conflict takes over the next 10, 20, 30 years, the air component will be absolutely central. As one American general has said, it's like oxygen. When you have it, you don't think about it. When you don't have it, it's all you can think about. And that's as true now, of course, as it was back really towards the end of the First World War, air power is becoming essential, and certainly now in any conflict it is. What form that will take, very difficult to say. But one thing we, we, another thing we can be sure of is it's very exciting, it's very interesting, and it's constantly dynamic, it's constantly developing.